Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. I'm an OCD coach. I was actually one of the first OCD coaches ever to be on YouTube and the other uh, social media stuff didn't even exist back then. And basically all I do is I help people recover from OCD. And when I say recover, I mean fully recover. We can't take anything less as a solution. It needs to be full recovery. Today, I wanted to give you a very important tip as you are heading uh, towards the end of your recovery for those who are, right? When you get to a point where you're almost not doing compulsions, you're almost not ruminating, you're almost not doing avoidance behaviors, this is not the point where you stop doing recovery work. You need to continue and you need to get it to zero because if you kind of leave it a little bit there, right? Like, well, I'm not doing a lot, but there's some. What are these some? Are you keeping them as a pet? These some is when you're stressed out is what's going to come back and be, make itself a big deal. So it's important that you continue to work even when you do the work, when you, even when you feel like you don't really need to anymore like you're okay ish ish is not good we need to actually finish this and then post that right so once you do get it to zero also apply these same principles into everyday life so when you confidently say i mean you don't need to actually wait to that moment but but i'm saying that when you say well i don't have any ocd i feel like i'm ocd free good now apply the same principles to everyday life Doing it this way cements your recovery, where it's not on shaky footing, but it's now built on cement, where you got your OCD down to zero, you're disregarding real life stuff, you're not overreacting, overthinking, uh, over worrying. Now you're on solid footing. And when stressors come in, good or bad situations happen in life where they're stressful, you're not going to fall down because no matter what happens, you are in control of your emotions. You're not, you're allowing yourself obviously to have emotions, but you're not letting your emotions run you. Do you know what I mean? So I hope you find my videos helpful. Thank you so much for listening. Subscribe if you haven't, if you would like to do one-on-one -on -one recovery program with me, as always, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. I'll see you again tomorrow.